in many cases, the downtown of any city is the heart and soul and the front door. It's what the public sees. And I don't know of any city that can thrive without there being passion, excitement, energy for their downtown. It's the heart of the city. It has to thrive. Well, in the 80s and 90s, downtown uh, had reached uh, probably its lowest ebb. No new businesses had been developed and a new building probably hadn't been built for 25 to 30 years. There was an awareness downtown that something had to be done. Out of that, a number of discussions occurred from which arose a potential consensus that the answer was a downtown convention hotel. Everybody thought that was a good idea as long as somebody else paid for it. So that became an enormous challenge to put together. And that ultimately got accomplished through a lot of work by a lot of people. But the critical player in that equation was Al. I would say there were probably a series of events over a 10 year period that pretty much started with a commitment of a few uh, very serious downtown supporters and civically committed individuals. I was a young man when I joined the downtown council and Al was the chairman and uh, he brought with him a significant amount of credibility, stature, and he just refused to give up. We were having arrows thrown at us in every direction. It would have been easy to just throw in the towel and say, hey, this is not something I can save or be involved with. But Al, by virtue of his passion and energy, refused to give up and uh, kept us all together, kept a group of businessmen and women together to uh, say, hey, we can make this better. It's going to take a lot of hard work. It's too important to give up. First of all, the board was a very powerful board. It had all the major interests. You had the, the major banks and the major property owners on that board. But you also had major real estate interests who were competing with each other. And my challenge as, as chairman of that board was to try to keep them focused and they were not hesitant about expressing their views. <laughs> I used to be six feet tall. I'm five and a half now. <laughs> they sort of wore me down. Al was a tireless worker and quite a character. He never lost a sense of humor, but he never let a good opportunity get away. Once he had you in his sights to get your support, he kept you there in, uh, until his mission was accomplished. Al, like Phil Kirk, came from the tree of Mr. Doremus, and their impact on the city is immeasurable, particularly downtown. So Al came to the table with the backing and the passion, as did Phil, with the Kansas City Southern legacy. Phil was an amazing person, not only in terms of his understanding of real estate, but his also understanding of development, and also how generous he was with his own personal resources. Generally, I think that I had the good sense to work for people who had great vision and also were willing to take risk. I don't mean risk by just a risk, but recognize you don't get anything done unless you're willing to take a risk. And you may or may not succeed, 